through a lot in life that I can design a Judas. You can't hide. If you don't appear, I go read you. Ah, no, no, I no go read you. How you go take hide? There is a way you have seen betrayer that you study Judas theology. The study of betrayers. The each time you see Judas, you see carrot, even when they don't put out for their mouth. Mark 14, verse 18. Let me show you this. Why are you people looking at me? I'm teaching you. you when you see Judas, you will know. Some of you don't, you don't, and don't allow smile to carry you away. Don't allow lying down before you to carry you away. I said, I have gotten PhD in the study of Judas theology. The study of betrayers. Put it there. Mark 14 verse 18. Are you there? Are you folding my hand? Let me give you distinction today, please. Someone shut fire. I don't know what they have done against you. But wherever they have tied you down, I see a breakthrough coming. Mark 14 verse 18. And when they sat and did it, Jesus said, Really I say unto you, one of you which eateth with me shall betray me. When they do what? what they, when they do what? They sat down. Then they chop. Whosoever he be. They sat down. When did they chop? <laughs> As they chop, Jesus gave a prophecy. One of you, whosoever he go be, shall betray me. Now, he was not talking to the crowd. He was talking to disciples. Now, put verse, put it verse 19. Look at it. And they began to so, to be sorrowful and to say to unto one and one by one, is it I? And another said, is it I? They became sorrowful. Master, why are you embarrassing us? Why are you saying this kind of words to us? All of us are faithful. Now your own, now you know. No, no, you are not born. Only. Not talk for another person. Talk for yourself. Am I the one? Am I the one? All of them, then they post before Jesus. Me, am I the one? Am I the one? Uh, you know, Judas come to say, Am I the one? Uh, Judas. He said, You don't see me. Are they among them? Whosoever he be. Put verse 20. Make I show you who he be. <laughs> make I show you who he be. And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve. That debate with me in the dish. All of them now they shop for that side. The person why they talk for now the same place. Now me are in the shop. I love Jesus. Look at how he brought down this mathematics to the number one. All of them they sat down. Judas was eating in the same place with Jesus Christ. That is the only disciple that had privilege to sit by the master and eat from the same plate. Why every one of them is say, am I the one? Judas was eating fish and bread and together in the same plate, he said master, am I the one? Then Jesus answer, and I won't know who he be. The same person that is eating with me from the same plate. When they want to do you, the person eating with you from the same plate. Winches are not powerful. But they are powerful if they befriend you. Church is quiet now. Can I show you another one before we pray? Can I show you another one? Why, Why are you quiet? Luke 12 verse 53. I'm giving you scripture. Go and use it to pray at home. These are warfare scriptures. 
They will open your eyes to see battles of life and how to overcome them. How to deal with them. Now hear me, because the head is about to die. And because of what they had, they decided to plant to build graves all over. Luke 12, 53. Put it there. The father, hear this. He said, the father shall divide against the son and the son against the father and the mother against the, the daughter and the daughter against the mother and the mother-in-law against the, the daughter-in-law. Now he was talking about the end time move. Now for you to save your life, I will, I will this end time divide you. Luke chapter 22 verse 64. Now when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, prophesy, is it that smooth thee? Who smooth thee? Let me show you this. Can you get me something that I can use to just tie somebody high here? Bring something that can, you know, I don't want something that somebody high can see. Uh, come here, Chito, say, come here. Now you, they look for the man to move. Who use the man? One of you help me tie him. Tie him very well. Tie him very well. That is it. Why are you speaking Igbo to him before you do this thing? Let him breathe. Oh. Why? You see this brother, but <laughs> are you seeing? Are you seeing? Mba. What is Mba? I'm not hearing Mba. You know they speak Pidgin English because the Bible speaks Pidgin English. Are you saying? No. You're not saying? Now I want to bring somebody from that place there, from that wing there. So. Yeah, you come. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Yeah. Yeah. Strike him. No, 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 we can't strike him. <laughs> you again from that place. Come. From that place. Come, 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 come. From that place. Come, 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 come. Yeah. Go and sit down. Quick, 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 quick. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. <laughs> Why are you going to your pastor place now? What up? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Who blindfolded? They blindfolded him. Whenever they want to deal with your life, they will cover your eye. Because they know when your eye is open, you will know who strike you. Even Jesus, even Jesus, the professor of prophecy could not prophesy when they blindfolded him. Who they cover my eye? Whosoever he be, who is covering my eye so that I might not see my helper? Who is covering my eye so that I might not see my glory? Who is covering my glory? Who is covering my eye wherever they are? Whatever they have done to blindfold your life, today be exposed by fire. Be exposed by fire. My name is Joshua Ikila. By the aurora on my head, I prophesy they shall be exposed. They shall be exposed. They shall be exposed. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. What stop your father? Will not stop you. Lift up your leg and shut fire. I prophesy. You move to the next level. 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 I prophesy. I break the chain. 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 Sit down. 
They blindfold you. You see your helper as your enemy. When they blindfold you, you see your enemy as your helper. When they blindfold you, your spiritual father no longer becomes your spiritual father. Your enemy becomes your spiritual father. When they blindfold you, where you get joy, you no longer get joy. You begin to get depression because your eyes have been covered. When they blindfold you, they cover your eyes with their lies. When they blindfold you, the reason why they cover your eye, they want to strike you because they know if your eyes are open. Because when your eyes are opened by the eyes of the understanding, it's enlightened. There is illumination. There is comprehension for the light shined in darkness when darkness comprehended it not who blindfold me witches cannot walk until they blind your eyes I prophesy may your eyes be open 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 I don't know who is doing me oh Lord open my eyes I want to see I don't know who is behind my trouble it could be my uncle it could be my mother it could be my father oh Lord open my eyes oh Lord open my eyes I want to go to the next level I break out from where I am I break out from the battles of life I prophesy what stop your father will not stop you I break out of the shadow of the wicked lift up your leg and shut fire I break out oh Lord I'm tired of this level I break out I come to the next level they have covered my eyes but today I come out I come out for as far as you can see I break out who is monitoring my life I come out of their troubles I come out of their problem I come out of their battles I cross to the next level of my my life, lift up your leg and shut fire, shut fire, shut fire, shut fire, hey, 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 hey
these are the two people. Eh? 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 I suspect him. I suspect them. Huh? You can see your life now. When you are blindfolded, even you have the gift of prophecy, you will not see. When they taught Jesus, prophesy. Who struck you? He looked around and could not prophesy. Because when you are blinded, when the eyes of the prophet is blinded, attacks are inevitable. There is a level a leader gets to. The people of the world will cover his eye. You will appoint Judas as the treasurer. And you will be stealing and be planning your debt. And yet, you are omniscient. All knowing God. You will appoint the man who will collide with your enemies to kill you. Mm. Somebody asked me, Papa, I, you know they see? You know they see that this person is bad? Ask Jesus whether you know they see. So in one, in just 12 members, 12 members, not like me here, look at the church. Jesus was pastoring 12 members and it was difficult to excuse him from a denier, Peter, Peteru. It was difficult to excuse him for a Judas. It was difficult to excuse him from a Thomas. Three people in the in his, among the disciples have questionable character. Then you remember those ones were ambitious of position. They said when you die, well, grant us the audience to stay by your left and right. They were already planning his death and requesting that he should die before them. So that they can stay by the left and right. This is what happened to so many of you. When you are under attack, you point your father, your pastor, your father in the Lord as your problem because your eyes are blind. The people you are accusing as your problem are not the one who have caused your problem. Whenever you are blind, you will see the wrong people and the right people, you will run from them. You will accuse, you will accuse the, the right people. You will embrace the wrong people. Yes, your enemies will become your friend. Your friends will become your enemy. That's what the enemy wants. There's no demon inside you. What is around you is manipulation. Now when I ask him, show me who strike you. <laughs> he pointed Shego. Sorry. Shego is not the one. Shego is not the one. It's not the one here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Even now, you find it difficult to believe. But that's how you people are accusing. You say, My pastor have used my star. Which star you get? Your star no one buy bicycle for you. But some say, But my father is envying me. I said, I've already reached before you even got born again. Which envy? What do you have? This oil is already boiling before you came to Christ. Before you start ministry, I'm already on top of the wall. God has lifted me up. So which ministry do you have? When you want to talk to fathers, be very careful. Say, no, you know, am I, which anointing? You just get all, ro -ro 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 enter, you don't turn to fry pan. They will make you see your helper as your enemy and your enemy as your helper. The photographer, it's not your, he never, no, he not do you anything. Now picture is just they take. In fact, in picture, go review to you what they talk. Now because you look at the photographer standing before his eyes. I was doing like this. Saying, now you, do you know that when the attack you finish, the person you open your eyes to see will become the suspect. Now can I tell you who attack you? I will tell you. Now let me tell you. Do you know why they blindfolded him? They blindfolded him because the person they used to attack him, he will know the person. So they, they covered his eye because it could be one of the disciples, it could be one of the members that they wanted to use. 
and they because they don't want him to know the person because the person is a familiar face from the family so they cover his eyes so that he will not know the person because if the person is not familiar they would have allowed his eyes to be open from person where they do me and they pity me Agbadura oh lord help me from the person that is doing me and crying for me after he don't knock you finish he say hey yeah he give you again hey yeah Obiora come here Now the number one person will knock you for head. <laughs> he could not believe his face. That's the same person that cover his eye that knock him on the head. <laughs> that is what is happening. They are very close. You can't suspect them. Jude, come out. <laughs> You ain't sit down with you. You can never suspect him because two of you are sitting together. That's what happens to you in life. They are very close when they want to attack you. They make you dream and you don't remember the dream so that you will not remember their face that they are the one that fly to hit you. That's why when you walk out from the dream, you are trying to recollect the face that pushed you into the pit. But because they are blindfolded you, they don't want you to remember who is doing me. Whosoever he be. Sermon January, and God told me in the first Sunday of March, you minister it. And that's why I was trying to change it. And God said, No, 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 this, this sermon is very important for this. God, Some of you, your problem is nothing else. Human being factor. They've covered your eye. Mother, mother of Esau, Rebecca, a Christian woman, she might. Anybody can be borrowed to achieve a purpose around your life. They can speak in tongues, finish your life, support it with speaking in tongues. Now you can see that these two men here are very, very innocent. But they are the ones you see are suspect. You see these two now. You see their faith cool when you they look for them. You don't suspect them. People that are doing you. They are very calm, matured in what they do. When you read the book of Jonah chapter 1 from verse 9 through 14, you will see. He entered into the ship. Then there was a tempest. Because it is called friendship. Because the friend in your ship can determine what will happen to the shipwreck of your ship. There was a storm until Jonah screamed out. And said to them, if you don't throw me out, you are going to die. They ignore him. And they try. They try. See, Jonah was not a demon. But his person was a demon. When they gave him as a sacrifice, the storm calmed down. It's not every time you cast out demons. Are you ready to pray now? Give Jesus a clamp of it. Thank you. Have you seen how some of you are accusing the wrong person? Wrong person. Sit down, please. My years as a pastor, I have seen members for their laziness accusing a father, a pastor. You know, since I joined the church, my glory has not been manifesting. Then I asked them question. How many years is the church you are accusing? And how old are you? Some of them are older than the church. 
You are 60 years old. You are accusing a church that is five years old of your 60 years problem. Is it not a mental case to be 50 years old and you are accusing a church that is two years old of your 50 years problem? Mm -hmm. Church is quiet. Hear me. Don't ever take a decision. Don't ever take my decision at your position. Don't ever take my decision at your position. Because my position, where I'm taking my decision, might not be your position. If I am driving a car of 50 million, don't try to drive a car of 50 million. Now, I've heard people say, rich people are living extravagant. No. Let me explain to you. If a man is wealthy and asks, and I have about 10 billion naira, and decide to buy a car of 50 million, it means nothing to him from the wealth. If you have 1 million and you decide to buy a car of 900,000, you are the one that is extravagant. What you call waste of money to some wealthy men is a peanut from what God has given to them. So don't size a man manifestation of his glory based on your capacity of reasoning. Oh, you don't get me. A man is wealthy with 100 billion naira. And then he bought a car of 100 million. And you are saying the car is too expensive. He's extravagant. No, he's not extravagant. He's, he's spending maybe 1% out of what he has. You have 2 million. And you bought a car of 1.7 million. You are the one trying to show up. these men, they are showing up. They want to show they have money. No, no, no. There's a level a man get to. Even though he tried to cover up, the water go pour aside. You don't hear me? There's a level you get to when God bless you. You can't hide it. I ran up by telling you this. You won't see shame. <laughs> the Bible says a good man live in inheritance for his children, children. Not just his children. His children, children. If he doesn't live in inheritance, he's a stupid man. If the man cannot live in inheritance for his children, children, he's a stupid man. A man of God died several years ago and the wife came to meet me. The pastors took over the whole church. Very wealthy man of God. Blessed. They took over the whole church, pushed her away and they were in charge. The children of this man of God attending a very good school, dropped out of the school. And this man of God was a little bit close to me. And I felt very bad because I know his capacity of blessing. I'm telling you how people can celebrate you when you are alive and immediately you are gone, they will do wickedness. Some of them start making pastors under the, their father, making advances to their father's wife to sleep with her in order to help her. God spoke to me several years ago and said, Watch and learn. Just because a man of God is a pastor does not mean he should live his life and build an empire for slaves to eat. Or live his life and all his children, after he has gone, they should be stranded. So because he's a man of God, his children should, should be better of God. 
when you come under a vision, you are a submission to the vision. And if you don't love the mission, leave the mission. If you don't love the vision, leave the vision. Leave the vision. A man of God who suffered and labored to rise up to a light. And you come and saw the light. You came under the light. You are asking him, eh, eh, how, how did you come to here? You to build your light. To be a light to the world does not mean you should be foolish. Give your children the best education. Lay foundation that we have leave you. You think if Jesus had gotten children, you think there would have been no another Jesus here on earth. That's why he was God 